So for this section, we're going to talk about special considerations, like special meals or exercise. So you may or may not know that the auto mode doesn't have the dual and square wave feature. So you may be questioning, what do you do with those large meals or special occasions like parties and how to manage them? Well, in some respects, the auto mode is set up to help with these scenarios and situations. So what you need to do is ensure that you're as accurate as possible with your carbohydrate counting. So go back and check all those meals or regular meals that you would have to ensure that your carb counting is as accurately as possible. You also need to make sure that you do bolus up front. So if you're having a large meal, what you need to ensure is that you give that bolus and what some people have found is that just by asking the pump whether it needs a correction, and remember it may advise a correction if your blood glucose levels are above 8.3, but it may not, depending on what insulin you've got on board and the trend from your glucose sensor and what level that's sitting at. So another topic that often generates a lot of conversation is exercise and how best that's managed. You may remember from your training that we discussed temporary targets. The pump is often looking at a target level in auto mode of 6.7. However, Quite often for exercise, that can be too tight. And in temporary target, it's estimating at a conservative target of around 8.3. Please do remember when exercising, not to carb up front with the exercise, as the pump will start to give you extra basal to cover the food that you've just had, at a time where you don't want extra insulin on, for, on board because of the risk of hypoglycemia. So if you've been using the temp target already, you may be asking yourself, well actually, when do I start it and when do I finish? And everybody is different. We normally recommend that you start the temp target at least an hour to two hours before, and you'll probably need it to run at least an hour to two hours afterwards. So if you are somebody that wakes up quite early to exercise, you actually might need to set your alarm clock and maybe wake up a little bit earlier so that you have the temp target running at the time of the exercise. Equally, if you're doing quite vigorous exercise and prone to going low during the exercise, you may need to consider suspending the pump or considering additional carbohydrates or both. Everybody is individual, so please speak to your healthcare professionals who will help guide you in this scenario to get the right treatment for you. On the screen, you'll see the steps for helping you set up a temporary target. Equally, if you decide that you wish to cancel that temporary target and go back to the auto mode target of 6.7, just follow the steps that you now see on the screen. You may be wondering, when are the times that you need to go back into manual mode? So exercise and sickness can be a good example of this. So again, the goal is to stay in auto mode for as long as possible. But due to the higher adjustments and flexibility often needed in these scenarios, you may need to exit into manual mode. In which case, please speak to your healthcare professionals about a plan for these scenarios. So here on the screen, you can see the steps for exiting auto mode to go into manual mode. And again, here you can see what you would need to do and the steps that you would need to follow to get back into auto mode. But please do remember, that the system will ask you to link in a blood glucose level at this point. So in summary, this system is a tool for helping you achieve your diabetes goals. It's not a cure. Set yourself realistic expectations, realising that there will be times when you are high and still times where you may go low. And what we're trying to achieve is that goal of maximising your time within that target range of between 4 and 10. Hopefully this system will allow you to have more headspace away from diabetes. But please do remember that if you are struggling or having any problems, to reach out to your healthcare team or speak to Medtronic. We're all here to help you achieve your diabetes goals.